Are you looking for more dirt bike trails to ride? I want to show you six, that's not six, six different ways that you can find more trails to ride because here in Minnesota, if you live near the cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, there isn't really any good single track, at least state trails. You have to drive two or three hours up north to get them. That can take a good chunk of time out of your schedule, especially if dirt biking isn't the only thing you do. If you have a family, you want to ride but it takes all day or all weekend and on the minnesota dirt bike trail riding group i'm constantly saying hey where's the best trails to ride where are trails near the cities and everyone just says there isn't or do a search so the first one is if you live in the states there's going to be a dnr website this would be mn dnr and you can look up a uh, dirt bike specific trails so this would be ohm off highway motorcycle there should be one for every state here in this uh, in the u.s it has a full list of state trails that you can ride you just need a dnr trail sticker they have nice maps for them they usually have like the difficulty uh, whether it's uh, easy moderate or expert and the trails are usually well marked depending on what state you're in or if for some reason all the trails aren't listed there just do a google search one of the top results is rider planet usa where it shows you a list of all of the motocross parks dirt bike trails it might not show everything but you might find one new spot to ride and that might be all you need to have fun all summer and number three is private property. So to legally ride your dirt bike, you either need to be on state trails or private property with permission. So how do you find private trails? Well, you'd be surprised how many people have trails. They just don't share them because, well, usually because of liability. Some of the best ways to find them are one, uh, Facebook groups. So like the Minnesota Dirt Bike Trail Riding Forum, uh, you can search. I've seen quite a few people saying, hey, we're new to dirt biking. Uh, are there any good trails to ride? And there aren't too many good beginner trails to ride. That's why we sometimes have beginner trail ride days here. But I've also seen other people posting or saying that they messaged them because they have private properties that they're generous to share with other people who seem like they aren't going to be a liability. And by liability, I just mean that like if they crash and got hurt, uh, and even if they didn't sue that uh, the owner, their insurance company might, which really sucks. And that's why you want to be very careful when you're riding on someone else's property. Number four is a local riding club. Uh, so one of them here is the Twin City Trail Rider Group. And you can get to know a lot of cool people uh, from those trail riding groups. You might find out that someone there has their own trails, or you can just find a riding partner to go with to the state trails. Number five is trials events. Yeah, I know this isn't for everyone uh, because you kind of need a trials bike to do it, but <clears throat> it's a great way to meet usually a family-friendly crowd. P most people there are, are there just to have fun. Trials bike riding is excellent for mastering the basic techniques of riding a dirt bike and whether this is going to a trials event or finding someone with a backyard that has some fun obstacles or making your own obstacles in your backyard because you don't need much room for a trials bike number six is build your own trails now i know not everyone has their own property with acreage but all you need is a small wood section on less than an acre and you can build a 30 second woods loop which is really fun to ride. We have one that's about 30 seconds that's great for beginners or just for practicing your cornering. Which leads me to the question, would you like me to show you a video on how I make dirt bike trails? A lot of fancy equipment can be used, but I started out with just basically a handsaw and some clippers and started cutting trails in these woods, which are pretty thick. So if you want me to show you how I do that, uh, comment below, and if I get enough people asking for it, meh, maybe I'll make a video on that. I'm Kelly Fager from MX Hideout. Ride safe, have fun. Oh my goodness, these flies are biting. Ah!